All right. So now, where can you actually learn things? The first <laughs> is very obvious. It's YouTube. And we're just going to start naming some of our favorite creators and what they do, what they teach, and why we like them, right? I think YouTube is the a very... Big, YouTube is a big resource for the one reason that it is obtained by like, the world. The whole world is listening. And well, literally, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. Major obviously. parts of the yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> I should say that. But, um, like, for example, if anyone has followed Sal Khan's story, like the Khan Academy creator... Uh, you'll hear that it's such a sweet story. He's like, hey, I wanted to teach my cousins some math and they were in the other part of the world. So instead, because there was no like, I don't know if Skype or anything was very popular back then. Or I guess he was like, hey, let me just put it on YouTube. Like that's literally how it started. So innocent, right? So that's why YouTube is such a wonderful resource. Anyways, continue, continue. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think personally, if you just want to start like learning just random things, I would recommend three blue, one brown. And it's not even about random things, right? Because he has some playlists on calculus. He has playlists on linear algebra, like actual math topics. Mm -hmm. And he even has a great playlist that he did um, as soon as lockdown started um, two years ago now. Uh, he did a playlist on like a live stream, a whole bunch of them on imaginary numbers. Like you can learn so much of like actual math from his YouTube channel, but actually like he just has a whole bunch of videos where he takes some topic, like some problem that seems interesting and just dives deep into it. And I feel like when I was younger, I'd watch these videos. Sometimes I'd get lost because I didn't know like any of the calculus or anything, but I would just watch the cool animations and kind of follow like what he's mm -hmm. saying. Cool and animation. I learned so much from that. It's yeah. the animations are so beautiful. His voice is just so soothing. Yeah. Everything <laughs> is just beautiful about, about his videos. Three blue, one brown. See, there are a lot of creators and there are a lot of, I mean, a, a lot of teachers aim to teach you the content, right? They're like, okay, what are we learning here? That's not really Grant's approach whatsoever. Grant, mm -hmm. Grant Sanderson, by the way, the individual who runs Three Blue One Brown. We also interviewed him. If you, if a first time mm -hmm. listener is listening to this podcast and you want to go check it out, we interviewed Grant. That was a really fun episode. But yeah, uh, have you watched his most recent one? On like, there's two different people attacking a problem. It's in my watch later. I haven't it's watched because so it's a long video. Good. I just haven't watched. Yeah, it's in my watch. No, later. I watched. I, just watched, I watched the whole thing because I I saw it was a long video. Oh no, you so have to watch. It. Oh, you have to watch the whole. No, thing. no, I, I clicked on it thinking yeah. I was gonna watch like a little bit of it and then yeah. come back. And you just said, but so I ended up. I watched the whole thing. It's so good. I can imagine. It's so good. Imagine. He's getting better every every video. He's just getting better. He's yeah. just getting better. It's, I mean, it's I, so again, good. The main point that I was trying to bring up is that three blue one brown excels again not at teaching you the content, even though he is really good in that. That's not his purpose. His purpose is not to teach you. His purpose is to make you understand it to a level that I don't think any YouTuber or not not just a YouTuber, but like creator slash teacher goes into. Yeah. Like the way that he describes, like the mathematical concepts, his visualizations. I don't think I've ever understood some things as deeply as I did with his videos, mm. right? So if you're really wanting to understand, and this is, to be honest, this is one of the first steps that one should take in the journey to learn math and physics is, well, you want to really understand what's going on behind the scenes. Because you might be like, oh, my first step is to, oh, let's just learn this complicated math. Let's learn all these symbols. What is this? What is that? Now, even though that looks cool and that is what you want to do later on, you first want to understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. And in our particular case, Parker and I had this wonderful class, like our second year of calculus, our proof level calculus, which was amazing in terms of really getting the intuition of what's happening in this higher dimension into you. You know, it's really, really understanding the visual, the visualization. How important is visualizing some of these, some of these transformations or some of these uh, functions in these spaces, right? So it all just these small things in it helps in these understandings, and that's one of the things that Three Blue One Brown absolutely strives in. I mm. think he's mainly, mainly math, right? Uh, has he dabbled in? Yeah other things Man, just it's math. mainly math mainly yeah. math right he also is involved with some Khan Academy he was I think that's actually how he started 
and he has some multivariable mm-hmm. calculus videos on there as well which is actually how he got a little bit bigger so you can go check those out too it's really good yeah so just moving on really quickly we're gonna name like a couple more and talk about them uh but eventually we will have to move on because there is more than just youtube um mm-hmm. so of course. really quick big big shout out to the two creators that got me into science and that is vsauce and veritasian oh is that true These, i don't know this about, oh that's just so fun when like i remember being like a kid i don't know like like 13 14 and watching vsauce videos and just being like like i would finish the video and be like oh my god like <laughs> like the amount of knowledge that just entered my brain was <laughs> insane that theme song like whenever he says yeah oh but this and then he goes and yeah and so then he funny. just goes on like crazy. some and he doesn't even talk about like like he does talk about science a lot but sometimes he'll he'll go on like a tangent about like synonyms or something mm-hmm. like so, it'll be okay, like Vsauce is not the okay 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 Vsauce ver, okay Veritasium a little bit different because even because Veritasium is a little scientific but like both Vsauce and Veritasium are both like in my like they're both creators you know I mean even yeah. 3 blue 1 brown is at the end of the day but he's more of a you know teacher you know, like Veritasium is also a teacher. I know this. I'm contradicting myself a lot right now. But I'm saying if you actually watch their videos, you'll kind of see that it's kind of a it's not really teaching you science. You know what I mean? Like it's not teaching you physics, mm-hmm. you know, it's again, for like just, actual. Yeah. For, for actual like people who teach you, mm-hmm. I would 100 percent rec- for calculus, anything relating to integral calculus, differential cal- black pen, red pen. He oh. just does a whole he's bunch a of teacher. Now he's an actual yeah, a teacher. whole bunch he's of insane problems. Yeah. Yeah. Black yeah. pen, red pen. Also, Doctor Pam. I think they work at the same school. This might not be true, but I I know they do like videos together. Um, also, Michael Penn. He does a lot of like competition math problems, and also he has a whole bunch of playlists on just literally anything you can think of. Mm-hmm. Like he he has real analysis videos. He has videos on just doing like the formal definition of mm. a derivative continuity now that is where, whole bunch of stuff like that that is where you can again that, that now that is where you learn math you know what i mean mm-hmm. so like while the other names that we just dropped were kind of creators and all like i think this is an individual where you can actually learn it because they're like p- concrete playlists that you can follow with a lot of them and you can actually see okay what's after what's after this for example mm-hmm. and this is true for our particular class um the math 137 and 2 th- oh no 237 is not online right it's only the the no. math 1 through 137 playlist on youtube so that's basically mm. the course code for parker and my first year calculus math well it's actually it's actually mat 137 not math 137 you're right mat 137 and basically that goes over literally step by step because it's a that that that's basically our entire course so that yeah. literally goes step by step into learning first year math so yep. if you're interested in like, hey, what first year math is going to be like, and this applies for anyone anywhere, even though we're saying this is for Matt 137 U of T, it's not like first year math and other universities are just wildly different. You know, they're all relatively similar doing the same things. So if you really want to just, again, learn and understand it, this literal playlist will take you step by step, mm-hmm. you know, so that's also, also that's a really good one. If you want to learn just a lot about math, Trevor Bazit, Dr. Trevor Bazit. Trevor Bazit also has amazing playlists. Amazing yeah, playlists. Amazing playlists. Amazing yeah. playlists. And also just learning in general, I definitely recommend Mathologer, Numberphile. Number and five. if you want to get good. more into uh, like physics, PBS, space time, okay. so good. I think Mind I Your Decisions, it. Andrew Dotson. All of these creators are there are amazing. so many yeah there there are so many creators but PBS Space Time is the one I th- I don't know if we mentioned this on the podcast or I mentioned this to you off the podcast but either way I can say it right now PBS Space Time is the one or not one but it's one of the YouTube channels that don't dumb down the science you know because there are shows like Sci Show Sci Show Space that are still like into the science like even Veritasium and Vsauce go into the science veritasium a little bit more into the science vsauce a little bit more into the philosophy but they still go into the science pbs goes so deep that you're like really forgetting what you're mainly doing because they 
that they don't care or not don't care, but basically they don't talk about the bare the bare fundamentals because a lot of it is understood. So PBS space time is like if a university professor were to talk to you, that's most likely how he would talk to you. Definitely, like, definitely. Not even joking. So many videos. I'm, I'm, I'm like watching him talk, and I'm like, this is a famous YouTube video. Like millions of people are watching this, and it's like, like, like Lagrangian mechanics in like this, in and like really hard formulas that he's talking about. And I'm like, there's no way like two million people enjoy this, but they do. Yeah. So clearly, there's a crowd for it, and. If you want to do that, you know, really focus science, particular topics, of course, again, not like a whole uh, a study, like a whole field that you can learn, but like particular topics, PBS space time. <laughs>